Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in a rainy car in Portugal. Um, I'm outside a DUI shop called, uh, what is it, <laughs> Leroy Merlin and um, I was here the other day to get some cables and a power bank which I mentioned in the last video and um, I saw something that I could build a little project for Cindy for so the idea is that I'm gonna be surprising Cindy with a little, um, little surprise build and it's it's raining here in sunny Portugal so um, I'm gonna go inside of the shop and we're gonna be buying some components for this build that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove this big, can we see that, uh, big microphone from the camera. So I hope, hope to do a little bit of ninja recording in there. Let's see if that works. Although, uh, should I just bring my phone? I'll try and detach the microphone. This is the shop we're at. Okay, in this shop they have some small solar panels and as Cindy is totally off-grid there's, um, well, she's gonna be getting a solar panel they have some small 5 watts one here this one but I don't think that's enough it might be enough but I'm not sure and the very big one is just, well, double the price this one is 30 watts so we will be getting that one and we need a charge controller for it as well. And they have a have a variety of the same thing. So we just need the very smallest one. So we'll be getting that one there. They do also have some tiny solar panels for some outdoor lighting. I think that's too small. But yeah, that's the main part of what we're getting. Now we need some wires and stuff. Here is the result of my shopping. Uh, solar panel you saw so let's put that in then uh, distilled water for uh, for batteries uh, I, I know that Cindy is, is missing that and uh, this box I thought that I could put the charge controller inside of that and not make it uh, waterproof but splash proof and then I am not sure how much tools Cindy has or if I can find it out there. Oh, and the receipt, it uh, came to a total of 126 euros. I am sure that this could have been done a lot cheaper, but I have to do it today. And I'm not from around here, so uh, yeah, that is always a little bit more expensive. Some, some things to, to put the cable in, some cable thingies to put them together screws and a little bit of wire this was cheap I um, this was very cheap I wanted those prices in Denmark that's that was, that was a good price table ties table strips thing yeah so we're at Cindy's place and Tandy is uh, he is in charge of security and um, yeah we're gonna get the stuff out that we are gonna need and try and play with with this project. So here we have an unsatisfied customer because we are gonna be messing a little bit. We're trying to make this electric fence here run off of solar power, which is there. And I'm not entirely sure if we should use the pole that is already on or if we should go and find another pole that we could borrow somehow might be a good idea if it had its own pole that uh, wasn't part of the pig fence already. I'll go and see if that's possible. Piece of wood. Uh, Cindy has a lot of uh, leftover or something. I'm not sure what that is, but well, there's a nice piece here that will do it for a pole. And I'm, I would hope that she's not gonna cry too long about me uh, using it. Let's see. Otherwise I'll have to take the blame and get her some new stuff. Let's see if we can manage. <laughs> it's 
try and make it pointy. I think that's perfect. I think something has been sitting here, right next to it before. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. We can we can put that in there. Oh, she has a gigantic hammer. <laughs> I don't have a hammer that big. So we want to point out this way. Chains of plants because, uh, well, that wouldn't be in, uh, it was about here, and the solar panels need to go on top, uh, so we needed something a little bit longer. So, um, yeah, uh, this this thing is gonna have to do. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe we can use this for something else. Uh, let's see the panel and how we're gonna mount that. Let's see, bought a lot of stuff here. I haven't seen this, so it's gonna be exciting! There we are. Tiny little solar panel. This is cute. So, yeah. And it has some mounting uh, holes here. So we should be able to mount something through that. It should have two meters of cable comes out here. It has 22 volts coming in. Mm, let's see, solar charge controller. I should have checked this before, how much voltage it will take. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, well, we have to figure something else out. But we need, we need something to mount this for sure. So this is where we are at. My plan is to have the solar panels sitting on this and hopefully it's going to be pointing that way which should be south just uh, between the sheds. We, uh, we uh, agreed that that would be south-ish so that's going to be good. <sighs> it could need a thicker pole, it could, but yeah, it can be replaced I'm sure. So I'm ninja hacking some, uh, some solutions here. I hadn't come up with a good way to mount this solar panel. I've got the wrong screws. I should have had some uh, bolts and nuts. Uh, I didn't. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try this way. Uh, this wood is just attached with, with cable ties, I think they're called. And then I'm gonna screw it into this part at a good angle. Ish. I don't know what angle, but a good angle. So now the solar panel is mounted. Um, Julian, who is uh, maintaining the pigs at the moment, who is uh, not shy to be in the video, um, he found the best battery that Cindy, who owns this place, has. So, uh, but uh, I mounted, I screwed into this one here and found that that wasn't enough. It was going to blow over in the first little bit of a breeze, so it got a little bit on the back here as well. Can I see that? A little bit that one for stability so that it doesn't come down as easily it's I don't think it's it's gonna last in a big storm but well you never know so, uh, they have a multimeter here so I'm able to measure the voltage of this uh, it's ever so hard because this is a bit unhandy but I think we can manage so right now the Sun is kind of shining so we get 21.2 volts out of the solar panels right now that's which is really good and the battery that we have here oh that's gonna be so hard to show 
Um, you might be able to see that. 12.66 volts. So, yeah. We have good voltages on both. I have um, this little electric, or this little box for uh, putting your screws in. I have removed some of the spacers so that the charge controller can, can sit in here. It's not going to make it waterproof, it's going to make it splash proof. Uh, water will still be able to go in here, but hopefully it will find its way out and hopefully not too much water will go in here. So we're going to mount that somewhere underneath here, maybe in the shade would be a good idea. Maybe somewhere up there or here. Yeah, yeah we'll figure something out. I'm totally forgetting to film here. I'm having so much fun. So the battery I have connected down here. Um, I didn't get to use those. I don't know why I bought those, but well, they seemed like a good idea at the time. But the battery is connected. I found um, that they had some, some wire like this from the fencing. And I bent that around the terminals and I have one of these that connected to the power cable uh, that was in the shed, so I borrowed those. I couldn't find those in the store, but uh, yeah, just some was laying around. Now they are being used for this. So that goes up to the charge controller, which is lighting up very nicely in here. Can you see that? Oh, it's really dark in there and the background is really light, but it actually says that the battery status is good. It's fully charged, status green. And then there is different colors of LEDs there, so cool. You can turn it on and off at night, so yeah, that's nice. Um, so yeah, and I've mounted the uh, the box here, and it's underneath the solar panel, so the minority of the rain will go that way and not in and hit the box in any way. And at the same point, I was able to strengthen the setup a little bit, so I hope that will be good. So now I am to. Uh, connect the fence, uh, which is this box over here. Uh, I'm not going to ruin it. I would have liked to connect this directly, but I wanna, don't want to ruin the, the fence. So I'm going to make somehow so you can connect this to, to that. So uh, yeah, that's going to be great. Oh, and the solar panel is this cable, so that is also connected. So now we can, we can see the battery down here and we can I have already cheated and seen that this works because we can connect this one to the positive pole and this one to the negative pole and we can see that the battery voltage has gone up to 12.82 volts and that means that the charge controller is putting a charge into the battery which is awesome so the solar is right now charging up this battery I know that there is current running into this when the voltage goes up so that's enough for me Okay, this is where we are at. Uh, this is the electric fence box. It's 0 0.5 joules and 10 kilometers, and it's a 12 volt system. It doesn't say anything about how much power this uses, but uh, it needs a ground connection. So I've kind of reattached the ground connection. It was it was over here, and the wire for it was too short, and I didn't want to ruin this wire because. I'm only a guest here, I don't want to get into trouble and uh, do something stupid. So I, uh, I found another wire in the shed that wasn't used for anything and uh, we attached that and uh, I made a solution for that. This thing was already okay and that goes from the box and to the electric fence out here and uh, all around the, the pig pen here. And then we need to power the thing and I made a weird solution over here. So I want to make sure that this can be taken apart again. If, uh, if Cindy who owns this farm isn't satisfied with my handiwork here, I don't want to have ruined anything. So what you can do now is take these connectors, crocodile leads, and I've connected a couple of uh, screws over here. And if you connect the crocodile leads to the screws, Nothing happens. It has a bad connection somewhere. If you do it right, don't mix them around. Ah, uh, there. There. You can hear that? 
now the electric fence is running so from the battery and being powered by the sun so this is neat <laughs> if i knew that this was okay and if cindy was here to approve it i would make this even neater and shorten the cables and all that good stuff but as it is right now i'm gonna have to trust that this is okay uh, <laughs> I should check my phone out here and try and charge that. It has a little USB connection right there, so you can charge your phone. That would be cool to have a little phone charging station right there. So let's see if this works. I have a charging cable here, a USB uh, normal one. It goes out to charge an, an iPhone, USB-C and a micro USB. So uh, let's pop that in. And I have my phone with me. So let's pop that in. And it's charged. And it's charging. So, yeah. Solar powered electric fence and phone charging system. So now we have a couple of dissatisfied customers because now the electric pick fence is up and running again and because I've cleaned up after myself and I, um, I closed the door of the shed where their food is and uh, that was enough to wake them up because well when that door goes it's feeding time but yeah now they're very dissatisfied but I think this turned out okay it's a nice little setup it's uh, well I'll say if you have the tools it's it's just gonna be minor things that you have to buy. The solar panel, which were overpriced, and the charge controller was definitely also overpriced. Um, I would say if you got these things the right places, you could make this for probably 70 euros. Now, audience isn't great, <laughs> but yeah, it's up and running. So I really enjoyed making this little project and uh, I've been out here in nature. The pigs really hasn't been much help. They have been sleeping the whole day, so uh, no help there. And Tandy the dog, well, the neighbors came and now Tandy is gone, so I'm all by myself. So I've been able to do whatever I want. And if you like it as well, please give me that like in the, in the downstairs. And uh, if you have a good suggestions or something, and leave it in the comments below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.